Hello friends and family of YouTube. Well, on this episode, this is the final installment of the RV show. And I'm going to show you a lot of great models that I've seen while I was there. But I'm also going to show you the worst model that I saw at the entire RV show. Uh, the footage is not that great, mainly because the ceiling height was so low in that RV that, uh, man, I was banging my head on the door getting in and out of the thing and lots of other poor design features of the RV. So uh, anyway, I'm going to show you some great ones and I'm going to show you the bad one too. So uh, here we go. Well, I just found a 378 FL. It's a Heritage Glen by Wildwood. I've never shown you anything like this before, so I thought I'd uh, go ahead and show it to you now. We've got a four-step entry to get inside here, and it is one of the solid step entries. And I do like those. But you step down to go back into this bedroom. Look at here. How about that? And, as you may have noticed, there's more steps going up. Just as I came in the, the door, I can step up and go into an area here where it's like some bunks. That way the parents laying down below can hear what kind of foolishness the kids are getting into up here. And they've got windows. Got blinds. And coming from the bathroom, we're going to the kitchen area. And you can see that they've got everything you can need in here and plenty more. And this ceiling is high. I would say this ceiling is somewhere around 10 to 11 foot high. And you've also got a three step to get up into the, uh, into the living room area. Got plenty of seating in here as well, man. You could have a party up in this thing. All right, so let's go to the next one. And I wanted to show you this next row through here. I have not been on this side yet before. So I wanted to show you that they do have plenty of these uh, Wildwood Heritage Glen uh, series. And uh, Bankston is uh, our local dealer that is carrying the, um, the uh, Wildwood Heritage series. So if you're interested in uh, getting to know a little more about that product, you may want to go online and uh, check them out. There's quite a bit of stuff here today to look at. Unfortunate thing about uh, trying to go to these RV shows is there are so many people inside the RVs. You don't see a lot of people walking around, but what you end up with is a lot of people sitting inside in comfort. And of course, they don't always want to be on video, so it makes it a little bit difficult for me to kind of get the footage I'd like to for you today. But I'm gonna to try to get all I can for you. I have not seen a convection type that's not what it's called. What is it called? Anyway, a different type of cooktop on the outside. And this is on a wild wood, which is my Forest River. It's a 261 BHXL. Go up inside this two-step entry and see what's going on inside of here. And we've seen this layout with several different companies, but uh, I don't believe I've been in this particular one. But uh, you've got a got you a couch here and got a little pony wall. That's what they call when they're a shorter wall like this to divide between any room and uh, and like the bedroom area. But it does have a curtain that you can pull this curtain across to give you some privacy. And you've got storage on both sides of the bed. You got you some windows on both sides of the bed. And here's your kitchen. And it did say BHXL, so I'm assuming there is a bunkhouse back here somewhere. So let's see what's see what we got. That's what the BH. A lot of these letters do mean something. If you ever notice, we get a lot of the same lettering on uh, some of these models. BH is bunkhouse. Uh, my mind is going blank. Uh, sometimes you'll see a, a RB, which is for rear bath, and sometimes you will see. A, a Q in there and that will be for Queen uh, sometimes you'll see a S in a number and that will be for slide generally and RK most of the time means rear kitchen 
So let's see what we got with the uh, refrigerator freezer combo here. Got that opened up. Man, it is large too. I like that. I like seeing a full size. Somebody must have turned it on. It was cold when I opened it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right. So let's go check out another model outside here. I found another aisle through here. We'll go and see what we've got. Uh, got a luxury surveyor over here. Got a little bit of the Springdale series. So let's see, uh, see which one this is. SM 1800. I'm hoping this is the one I've been wanting to do a video on, but I'm not, not for sure. No, it's not. All right. Either way, I'll still show it to you while I'm in here. Just a simple design nothing uh, nothing real flashy but hey it's okay uh this is a simple good good starter unit it's not uh like i said it's nothing flashy but hey if all you want to do is get some camping done spend the time with the family nothing wrong with saving a buck and trying to get something to save some money at the same time and still get to get what you really need and that's one of the corners they cut on cost is that fan there the ceiling fan uh you know that's that's what you find in some of the lower end models you'll find maybe not the greatest ceiling fan in the bathroom or you know some of that sort of thing but and like even this this storage area here you would normally find something up there where you could hang some clothing but you don't when you uh, look at a lower end line so uh, that's why I like to show you a little bit of everything so kind of let you see what all is out there and let you decide what's right for you right for your budget and uh you know hey it's got the basics and i do like that it does have a uh, air conditioner on the ceiling a lot of times when you look at some of these lower end models especially the summerlin series you can find them with an air conditioner on the wall if you believe anything i tell you please listen to me on this do not buy an rv with a wall mounted window unit that is the worst idea of the industry and trust me you do not want to buy any model with a window unit in the wall <clears throat> and i'll walk through here and show you a few more of these from the outside and uh maybe maybe go inside one of these hopefully this one we've got one down here further further down the um down this road that it's got uh, it's got a deck that comes out of it and uh, I'd like to see if that one, hopefully it doesn't have a crowd of people inside. So that is a little bit different. This is a Coachman Catalina uh, Legacy Edition. See, it's got, got some blue lighting here. Got a nice looking awning. And it's a model uh, 303RK PLE. And as you can tell, it does have the, uh, have the deck out here. And you walk up the deck, got a sliding glass door, got an area up through here with some seating. Yeah. And unfortunately it did have some people in there relaxing, so uh, I don't want to bother them. Not everybody wants to be on YouTube. All right, and I completely understand. So now this aisle here that we're at has some uh, Aspen Trail and uh, and looks like we got some Kodiak up here as well. All right, now I'm gonna show you some of the examples of uh, what corners might get cut on some of these lower end ones. This one here is an Aspen Trail and it is a 1700 BH. When I come out the door, the door scrapes the top of my head that is how low the door is on this particular model now as i get in here you will see of course that it is just a bed for a bed for two and you've got a little bit of storage above the bed as opposed to closed cabinetry you just have an open area and if you've got stuff setting up there as you travel that stuff is going to fly off of that shelf now the other thing that I want to point out is I am six foot and here six one. Here's the air conditioner. My head scrapes on the air conditioner as I just try to walk down through this walkway. 
Now, they've got a couple of things that look nice, like they do have this backsplash here, but that probably looks good on the video, but to be honest with you, that's just wallpaper. And that happens a lot in these RVs. I'm not trying to pick on them. I'm just trying to point out to you some of the corners that do get cut in some of these lower end trailers. And you see that it does have a two burner cooktop and there is no, uh, no oven here to cook inside of, but it does have a two burner cooktop. But it does have a uh, bunkhouse addition back here and these do hold 300 pounds per bunk. Let me show you inside the uh, bathroom. And right here you've got a standard foot flush toilet and you've got a shower here. Now, I'm going to try to get in here and show you what it would be like for me to take a shower in here. And it does have one of these low end fans in here. Okay, it's hard for me to hold this hold the camera and show you at the same time but again i'm 6 1 and my head is inside of that fan vent it's just a vent there's no fan in there i'm sorry so anyway my head is in the vent and you can see that i'm i'm having to crouch down so uh you if you were five foot three you might could stand up in here but there's no way that you could stand in here and and showers see there's there's where the shower head would be so for me to shower i would have to get down like that there's no way you could shower in this thing my apologies i know that was the worst video footage i've shown today but uh man it's really hard to get anything in there and uh coming out of the bathroom you do have a little bit of storage here where you can store you some things and you can see this uh, sink faucet. This is probably the cheapest sink that I have ever seen today, to date, ever. This is the cheapest feeling sink I have ever seen in an RV, period. So you're looking at a price of right at 13 grand, and that's a show price special. I'll tell you folks, if you, if you find something like this you should be you should be able to find a lot better product for that kind of price i'm not picking on bankston i've done videos for bankston before i'm picking on this product this to me this is just a it's a horrible horrible product for the money it's not the worst rv i've ever seen but it is uh it's definitely there's nothing impressive about this whatsoever and it does have a have one of the vent fans up here but Anyway, let's go on to the next one. All right, I got something a little, little different to show you than what I've been showing you today so far, and maybe what I've shown to you before on this channel. We have a Sport Trek 293 VRK, and it's priced right at 33,500. Got an outside kitchen here. Got a dual axle and a three-step entry. And we will walk right up into the dining area. Got the Thomas Payne collection, and you can see they got the vibrating chairs with the cup warmers and all that great stuff. And you've got a good sized little kitchen here. Pretty nice roomy feel to it. I like how it's got the opposing slides on both sides. That way it feels very open in here. And uh, yeah. And here is your air conditioning unit, and it does also have a vent. There is not a fan in the vent, but there is a vent, and they gave you a sunroof too, so you can pull those slides across there and kind of cut down on the light that comes in if you do want to darken it in here as well. And I don't think I mentioned it, but there's pretty good, uh, decent amount of windows in here as well, even one right over the uh, kitchen sink. Yeah, let's go on back here and see what uh, see what we got going down through the hallway. And right here we got us a bathroom with a standard foot flush. And you got a uh, shower door. And I'm going to show you something that I haven't shown you today. These shower doors, I see these in all kinds of RVs. They're just this cheap plastic flimsy material. I'm not a fan of those, but the thing that I do like is 
after about three times of pulling that and it tears up you can still hang you a curtain over this rod here and you're gonna have to do that because I'm gonna tell you those things are junk they are junk all right so uh, and it does inside here in the bathroom it does have one of these vent fans and you've got a little bit of medicine cabinet storage Got you a sink down below, got you a double door storage in there, and it does have a, got heated in the floor, and it's got, uh, the air conditioning is in the ceiling. But while we're going through here, let me go ahead and show you the, uh, the master suite. And we've got a slide back here as well. Plenty of room, plenty of storage. That is a storage area here. Let me see if I can get this opened up and show you what's going on in there how about that all right and i like that they got a couch in here isn't that isn't that kind of nice i mean that's that's something i don't believe i have ever seen in an rv you've got a bed and a couch and a fireplace it's a faux fireplace, of course, so it's not a real fire if you're uh, new to RV. But right there, you can mount a TV. you got a TV backer right there where you can mount it to that wall. I hate to say I would cover that window, but personally, I'd like to put about a 55-inch TV right there so that as I'm laying in bed, I've got a good view from it. But you would also have a great view from that couch right there. I do not recall what the price was on this particular unit, but uh, I'll try to give you like a layout of the land. I'm at the front of the RV, and again, of course, I'm in the uh, bedroom area, and it does have uh, air conditioning in the bedroom. I always like to see that. If you're going to get an RV this big, you definitely need a air conditioner in the living area and in the bedroom area. So anyway, just to give you a little rundown again of the layout, here we go. And this is your bathroom right here. And you can see that you've got the uh, living room area here. And here is our price. And uh, again, this is it. Bankston normally carries this. And uh, that is local to the Huntsville area. So uh, pretty sweet. All right. Let's see what else we can find out here. And I tell you what, there is a lot to look at here today and a lot of options. That's what I do like about these RV shows. Uh, sometimes what you run into when you just go to a lot is that's all you're looking at is what that particular lot carries. Uh, but uh, here today you can see a variety of different stuff. And this is an area I know little to absolutely nothing about is this type of um, traveling unit. I do not, seldom do I do videos of these. And uh, when I do, I can't really do them justice. I don't really know what I'm looking at. So uh, anyway, there's a price on one. And we've got some people laying around inside of that thing. I grew up watching. That's right, yeah. All right, so. And here's an Allegro. Tell you what, we'll go inside here and see if anybody's laying around in this thing. So we got Allegro RED 37PA $214,000. So uh, let's see if they got that on the chart here. Yep, there's the 37PA right there. So there's your layout picture of it. And looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six step entries. So let's go on inside here. All right. Man, I tell you what, I'm gonna have a tough time monetizing this video. I've got music in just about every every unit that I've walked into. But uh, anyway, this is a 2019 model, and uh, 
man, I tell you what, they have uh, they got it all in this thing. Boy, this is classy. And again, I'm not going to be able to give you a good rundown of what all is going on in here because I'm telling you what, this is way above me. I'm not used to seeing this much uh, bells and whistles. Plenty of cabinetry, though. Plenty of countertop. I don't know if this is uh, marble or what we got going on here, whether it's uh, faux. Either way, it's still heavy. Heavy duty feeling as well. And look at this huge refrigerator. It's like a huge home on wheels, no doubt. Man, yeah. All right, so let's go into the bedroom area. Check it out. Got uh, plenty of pillows. You know why they call them pillows or throw pillows, don't you? Us guys like to throw them things right off of there. They just get in the way. All right, so we got a ceiling fan in here and uh, got a um, plenty of storage area there for you to put your uh, clothing. And this sets up on like a little riser here, which I don't really care for that, but I'm sure there's a reason behind it. There's probably something up under there, whether it's a generator or maybe maybe the engine on this thing. I don't know. So uh, anyway, this door slides across. And good thing they put an arrow on there to show you so you wouldn't yank on it. And you've got your, look there, washer and dryer. That way you can make racket with that thing while you're trying to sleep. And you've got a... Got you a TV in here, got more storage. Golly, I don't know how much storage you could possibly need considering this thing only has one bed. But uh, the lights are not on in the bathroom. I wish they were. I'd like for y'all to be able to see that. But uh, anyway, let's see if I can touch this. Here's a monitor. Look at there. It's amazing what happens when you read. Oh, you caught me in the bathroom. You caught me in the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be right out. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> All right. Man, yeah, it's got everything. Love this countertop, man. That is that is really sweet. Seeing that all throughout this particular unit. I want to show you something that I like. I have not seen this trick done before, but I like it. You've got a small outdoor kitchen here. It's kind of hard to tell by the lighting, but what you have here is, uh, this is a little refrigerator, but notice how this lays out like a table where you can actually use it, which I would imagine that's gonna be copied. You'll be seeing that quite a bit on the models of next year. I guarantee you having the, uh, the, the door go downward as opposed to upward. Where is that song I just cannot get away from? Man, when you live in this state, I'm telling you what, you cannot get away from that song. Everybody thinks we want to hear it for some reason. I don't know why. All right. And I tell you what, I could sing this thing in my sleep. I have played this uh, many times in clubs as, when I was younger. But... Uh, Anyway, we're just about wrapping it up today. Got one more aisle to show you and then then we are done. All right. So we'll go down through here and see some of these uh, spirits and uh, wolf pup series down through here. Got some spirit ultralight and uh, Looks like we got a pretty good size little kitchenette out here on this one. This is a 275-8RB. So let me go inside and show you what we got in here. Got a uh, full-size bed. Looks like maybe a queen. Got some storage above the uh, above the bed. And I just got my low battery alert. So anyway. And to just come in the main entrance here, and you can see that you've got a good uh, dining room set up here. And you've got a full-size TV. Looks like that's at least a 50-inch. And uh, you know what? You've got room there. I was going to say you could put a faux fireplace, but I bet with that outdoor kitchen you can't do it. But anyway, 
something you could check into if you're interested but they got about a three-quarter size refrigerator freezer combo and you got a, uh, a uh, stove top and an oven there as well two bowl sink got plenty of storage there's your price on it and uh, Johnston carries this I believe this is one that they have over in the uh, Coleman Alabama uh, dealership pretty nice bathroom in here as well hey and I tell you what anything anything you see from Johnston on my video if you tell them you saw this channel or this video on here you can get a free upgrade on that uh, that fan so uh, I'm gonna tell you what this uh, toilet area right here has a lot of room you could probably you could probably weigh about 618 pounds and still be able to sit on that commode now let me show you the uh, got a little bit of storage here uh, for clothing and we're still in the bathroom of course and there's your uh, your sink and got some storage down below and you've got a pretty good size storage here got a two two door look at that and I don't know how much stuff you need to store in here but you got room to do it and to give you an idea of the layout of the land hey we are in the in the bathroom looking towards the front of the RV and as we go through here and go right past all of this stuff this is where you probably want to mount your let's see the TV I'm sorry the TV's over here so uh, I don't know that's kind of a strange wall there but you could definitely store a lot of stuff in and on that wall so uh, and again here's your here's your bed and I'm not sure what's going on here, but this door, I hope y'all can see that. It's like you've got an area for a dog bowl, for dog and water. How about that? Well, that's kind of neat. So you empty those bowls and then that door would slide up and close. Pretty neat that they thought of that. A lot of people like to travel with animals. And you've got a uh, backer here also on the uh, the wall so that you can mount you a uh, TV back here in the bedroom. And again, this one is a 2758 RB. And uh, this is over at Johnston. Um, like I say, I think that's from the Coleman. But uh, anyway, it's a uh, Spirit Ultralight. I just noticed a feature as I was walking away from this 2758 RB Spirit Ultralight. I've got to show you this. I've never seen this before. Inside the storage, we're on the side of the RV, okay? And you've got this front storage area. This door right here pulls down, and look at there. Comes with a fishing rod. That's what you would store up in there as a fishing rod, or you could put anything you wanted to. But I thought it was kind of neat that they did that. And if you're wondering why not just leave the fishing rod out here, well, the, uh, the string on your fishing rod is going to get tangled up into something. It's going to cause a heck of a mess, and you're going to be wishing you had that little door set up. Pretty sweet. Man, talk about great timing. I have just run out of battery on my camera here and uh, I am on the very last row so unfortunately I won't be able to give you some detailed run throughs on any of these because of the fact that I am out of battery so this is kind of the outside of the show I've already been inside done uh, every everything inside there I could as far as going up and down through the aisleways and uh, showing you what all is out there but we've got plenty plenty here today and like I said uh, this is going on the Valentine's Day weekend, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's plenty, plenty inside, plenty and outside. A little bit of everything here for everybody. So hopefully y'all can come out and check it out next year. If you can't make it this year. Y'all let me know down in the comments below some of the RVs that y'all seen on the entire series that you liked. And uh, maybe some more stuff you want me to show more of. Let me know what you guys like to uh, like to watch on here and what you don't want to see on here as well. So, uh, hey, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me. 
Man, I hope to see y'all real soon. And I tell you what, I've got a great series coming up. It's going to be of a, uh, a gentleman making a purchase. He's going to do the uh, walk around the lot and choose which, uh, which one suits him the best. This guy's driving over a thousand miles to get here. So, uh, man, I'm going to take y'all along. It's probably going to be about a two or three part series, but hey, I am so looking forward to this and I think y'all enjoy it too. Well, again, y'all leave me some comments. I appreciate it, folks. See y'all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.